Record-breaking flooding. It's been devastating the Midwest. The Mississippi River overflowing, and more than 12 million people are under flood warnings this morning. Rob Marciano is in Valley Park, Miss, uh, Missouri this morning. And Rob, I know you have the latest for us. Good morning, Amy. Behind me is the Merrimack River cresting right now at record levels. What should be behind me is Interstate 44. Now, this interstate is a rushing river like something I've never seen before. Traffic is a nightmare, but getting around the city of St. Louis, that's the least of their problems. This morning, a record-breaking flood drowning the Midwest, swallowing up neighborhoods, homes uprooted, some floating downstream. Bridges submerged, littered with debris. Rising rivers making at least 200 roads impassable. The whole entire highway is shut down. It's unbelievable. Interstate 44 and Route 141 shut down Tuesday. These traffic lights, the only sign of a once busy roadway below. It's supposed to be two major highways, and a couple days ago it was full of cars and trucks, now nothing but water. Overnight, a third major highway, Interstate 55. Parts of it closed, backing traffic up for miles. A flood in the winter, it's very dangerous. Everybody keep a good attitude because it's going to be a while. Authorities urging residents to stay off the roads to prevent rescues like these. Firefighters using a ladder truck to save this man marooned on the hood of his pickup. Another man and his dog trapped on a roof overnight until they could be rescued by raft. In High Ridge, Missouri, a water plant engulfed, closing down Tuesday and cutting off water to 20,000 residents. It's pretty uh, scary right now. This levee in Valley Park, dangerously close to collapse, hastily patched with plywood. And Missouri, not the only flooded state. I have never seen it like this. Parts of North Carolina, Florida, and Georgia also hit with winter flooding. The levees here in Valley Park holding so far, but this water now going downstream. The town of Arnold will see a crest later on this afternoon, and they are very worried there. All this water has to get down into the Mississippi River, so a number of big rivers will be draining. And over the next couple of weeks, really, we're going to see some issues down the Mississippi River. Matter of fact, Mississippi, the state itself, has declared a state of emergency because of high water expected over the next 10 to 14 days. Meanwhile, we've got flood watches that are posted for the southeast with some heavy rain that will be really concentrated around the Gulf Coast. Uh, to more, uh, later today. Tonight, here's your forecast for New Year's celebration. Champaign, Illinois, 25 degrees. Fireworks, Massachusetts, 34. Not too shabby. So mostly dry weather, I think, across much of the country as we ring in 2016. Dan, back to you. A silver lining indeed. Rob, thank you.